Hello friends, so today we will discuss unit number 3, chapter number 4, special referencing and positioning and our topic for today is relative positioning. So, if we want to find out the relative position of any object on the surface of earth, then we are having different techniques. So, before discussing the techniques, we will study the random and systematic errors. We have studied that root mean square error may address random errors like signal noise, selective availability and multipath to some extent. That means we can find out the average of all these errors using the root mean square error method. But we cannot find out some errors like satellite data which is incorrect or if there is a atmospheric delay or geometric dilution of precision that affects the data sometimes very small to some small extent or sometimes it affects to a very large extent. So in relative positioning also known as differential positioning one tries to remove some of the systematic error sources by taking account the measurement of these errors in nearby stationary reference receivers with an accurately position known. So what it means is suppose we know that there are some ground control points and its values are accurately known then using these points ground using the value of these ground control points we can find out the value of other points so we can use this relative positioning technique so if suppose a point lies somewhere here between two ground control points so its position and other values can be determined accurately using these GCP 1 and GCP 2 that is ground control point 1 and 2. So using the systematic error finding technique and using the reference surface we can find the relative position of the object. So finally the interlinked relative positioning is identified. The principal technique lies in the satellite pseudo range error but it also uses data link to upload its position timing information to a central repository where the corrections are applied as we already know the value of ground control points so this helps us to identify the points which are not known now comes network positioning so network positioning in general architecture consists of network reference stations strategically positioned in an area to be covered, each of which is constantly monitoring signals and their errors for all positioning satellites in view. So we can use uplink method where the information is sent to the geostationary satellite. The satellite will transmit the correct data to the area that it covers so that the target receivers using their own approximate position can determine how to correct for satellite signal errors and we can get a proper or accurate position data. With the network positioning accuracy in the submeter range can be obtained. Typically, advanced receivers are deployed, but the technology leads to solution can be obtained by using single advanced receiver that directly function in the neighborhood. So, we can use the four versus phase measurements. There exists a more advanced range determination technique known as carrier phase measurement. So, in this technique, there is a receiver technology and longer observation sessions are there. We have carrier phase measurement and using that we can find out the relative position and using the relative positioning, we can find out the absolute position. So, this technique is determined by number of cycles of the sign shaped radio signal between the sender and the receiver. Each cycle corresponds to one wavelength of the signal which is applied LB and frequency is between 19 to 24 centimeters. Now comes the positioning technology. So positioning technology we will study in the next video. Thank you.